me Ruby. I'm back with more Persona 4. And we just found we just saved Yukiko. We're in the middle of just like getting everything set up and making <laughs> my bag. <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, good morning. Why am I making sure you run until you, you're sore? That's because that's how your muscles grow officially. Hey, Rose. Uh, uh, what's, what's it called when you gain more muscle after getting sore through exercise? What? Well, this one I heard a lot, mostly from from Cardin, but I think that's the right answer, actually. I think Cardin is right on something! He's overcompensating! I don't know what for, for though. Awesome! <sighs> Good to know! <laughs> We're gonna be running till our muscles are sore. Yay! Yeah, and I got a job at the daycare center. Let's see if I can. No, nope, I'm way. Just gotta get to the. Nope. Wrong one. There we go. Now I gotta deal with this jerk. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm done with you. Bye. Bye. So long. Forever. Down we go. Let's join the drama club. I can be... F Let's move on. Ready? The six chicks. Cheeks. Six. The six cheek, six cheek. Uh, eh. oh, hello. I'm Yumi Azawa. Hi, Yumi. Yes, ma'am, just to mess with her. Okay. <laughs> I knew I would get another social link! The Sun Arcana. Ginger pork. 
Uh, how about score it with a knife? Awesome! I did a thing! I can cook! Oh great, what are these guys? They found you, Kill Senpai! Awesome! Yep. Speed walking! That guy was definitely with a man on a mission! Oh god. <laughs> this this lady is so creepy looking! at your age might not understand, but money is important. You can't do anything without it. I, sh I guess I should do what I they pay me for and lecture you. <laughs> uh, I think marriage numbers seems like the Least likely to exist. Marriage numbers don't exist. Huh. Yay! My expressiveness has gotten better. Yay! Let's see. Let's go with... Let's go with Yosuke. I don't think I, I have that much of a social link with him. I'll have to double check. Damn, that's good. Check the social links. Yeah, we only have. I think I should start hanging out with Yosuke. Now, where is Yosuke? Let's check Jeunesse. and what this place is. Hmm. I guess it's one of those things that you have to be there at the right time.
Uh, sure. Lucky me! What? <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez. I got some free drinks. Do some basketball practicing how I can't find Yosuke. Let's go. <laughs> I've gotta find I gotta find Yosuke and boost our social link. Let's grab some grub. <sighs> Whoa. What? Sorry. Personal stuff. Today is the day he goes before the almighty house of Ichijo. What do you mean? Hmm. I'm very confused on what he means by House of Ichijo. About Ko. What do you mean? Once a week, he drops by there, like he did today. His family's... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Distinguished? Traditional? Very strict? You'd never know. I'm looking at him, though. And of the Ichijo family is Ko's grandma. And they follow her orders like she's the law. Problem is, the old crone doesn't approve of him playing basketball. She calls it barbaric. But it's just a sport! Hmm. Well, according to her, there are sports that are proper and those that aren't. He's being forced to quit a lot of things since he was a kid. Not basketball, he can't give this up. So I want you to help him out. What can I do? I. You have to do is show up at practice. He's been really psyched ever since he joined. He's you're all he talks about. Yay! Another up in my social link. Guy, guess everyone has their problems. Welcome home. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Yosuke, I want to find Yosuke and hang out with him. This Tully isn't creepy. Oh my gosh. No one's around? What the hell? Going to town.
I'm gonna get my social link up for with Yosuke. What the hell? Random kid. Let's see if he's at Juness. Don't need to go to the food court. I'm so confused. Da, 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 da. Guess I can't really do anything today. Yes, we just have to wait until until Yukiko gets gets better in school. Welcome. Let's see if I can do anything in my room. Yeah, I can make envelopes. Got some money. Got some money at least. All right. Yo! Chie! I'm glad for you, Chie. find Yosuke and if I'm going to hang out I'm gonna see if I can hang out with him and if not I'll go I guess I gotta work on this before I can hang okay all right My expressive. What crazes me is not the light of the moon nor the golden sea, but merely the trickle of your tears. Got that? Uh. All right. Ah. Uh, What crazes me not is not the light of the moon. Did I get it right? Seems like it. <laughs>
Wait, what? I'll be the... The main male? Oh, great. <laughs> I'll give it my all. Okay. Envelopes. A thousand yen. Awesome. Let's see. a way to call call friends to be like hey want to hang out and not have them rely on us like them being the instigators and everything nope guess we gotta gotta wait for Gotta go home. And it's evening. Doo -doo. A thick fog oh, is shit. expected to set in tonight and remain until tomorrow morning, with heaviest concentration in the Inaba area. Anyone planning to go out tonight should take care. Now for our hourly weather breakdown. More fog, huh? There's been a lot of that lately. Hopefully it's not a sign of more trouble. Uh-uh-uh. What did I say about changing the channel without asking? Have a great day, even <laughs> during Golden Week, at your local Juness. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at, at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. <laughs> Dad, they're going to be open during Golden Week. I heard. Do you want to go somewhere during the long holiday? Uh, we can go somewhere? Uh, How about it? Got any plans yet? No. Nope. Then let's all go somewhere together. Junus, 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 Junus. 
Oh, she's so cute. You sure you want to go to Jeunesse? We can go there anytime. Come on, girl. Time for bed. It's late. All right. Every day's great. <laughs> your Jeunesse. Nanako is so adorable. All right. <sighs> Let's make sure no one's there at the midnight channel. And the fog is hitting close. Fog setting in. Let's make sure no one is there. Awesome. What the? Someone's there. Who was that? Who the heck was that? Yukiko! You're all right. Oh, good morning. Feeling better? Yeah, I'll be coming to school again, so that'll be nice. I caused everyone some real trouble. I'm sorry. No. No. Sorry isn't quite right. Exactly. What I mean to say is, thank you. My mother's back to work already. The maids are being really supportive. And I think things are going even smoother than before. I wonder if I was trying too hard. I may have been too caught up in the idea that I had to do everything myself. Yeah. Ever since the incident, I feel like I can think about these things more calmly. Awesome! Oh, she, I, she's so cute! Kind of embarrassing. She's you so guys cute! Everything, even the things I didn't want to admit. Everyone's like that. You think so? Yukiko! Oh, it's T.A. Well, I'll talk to you later. Yay! We saved Yukiko! We did it! <laughs> yeah! You creep! Pick on the on the city boy, huh? Uh... This one seems more different, so I'm gonna go with this one! Well, I didn't know that. Yay, my knowledge has increased! I wish this was like how it was in real life of me just normally getting... Sorry to keep you waiting. The soap was yours, right, Chie? Thanks! Oh, that smells so good! These instant noodles are just the thing to help me through club. How much longer do I have to wait on this? Still needs a few minutes. <laughs> so why are we here? Oh yeah, we were gonna ask Yukiko what happened. Yukiko-san, I hate to bring up stuff you'd rather not think about, but I need to ask you again. Did you yeah. recall anything about when you got kidnapped? Exactly. Anything at all? No. I thought I might remember something if I let it sit for a while, but as time passes, it only gets hazier. I think the doorbell rang at the entrance, and someone called for me. But when I woke up after that, I was already in the castle. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. Well, so 
This all happened after but she does was. Does this mean her visitor is the culprit? Does this mean that someone saw her on TV? I don't know. If it's true, then that's one daring criminal. What kind of killer would ring the doorbell? The police are probably looking for witnesses, but I don't think we can expect much from them. <laughs> As if the culprit wore bright yellow clothes at the scene of the crime. Yes, yeah, so a sign being like, hey, here I am! I wonder why whoever it is would do stuff like this. No we idea. Won't know until we confront him ourselves. But we can be sure of one thing. It's no coincidence that people keep ending up in that place. Someone on our side is definitely kidnapping them and throwing them into the TV. Very it's true. Murder, all right. Oh yeah, we never told you. This guy and me are gonna catch the culprit ourselves. The police are out of their league on this case, but we got personas. You know what? Let's extend a hand out to the girls. Wanna lend us a hand? Huh? Um... I'm helping out too! I can't believe someone would throw people into a place like that. I'm gonna sock whoever's doing this! Yeah! Chie. Let me help too. I want to know why this is happening. Especially if someone hates me so much they want to kill me. I don't want to run away from myself anymore. I don't think it's most... I don't think it's you specifically that they have a vendetta against, though. Seeing how... Alright. Yo's case... Let's all work together and catch this asshole! Well, seeing how Saki-senpai was the first one to be really killed that we know of, then it was the announcer... Like the reporter lady. Agreed. Yeah! Investigative investigation team right up! But how are we gonna find them? We don't have a single lead yet. I'm the third one to be targeted so far, but I have a feeling this isn't the end of it. If we had an idea of who might be targeted next, wouldn't we have an advantage over the killer? Very Someone true. Outsmart them, huh? Yeah, that might work. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what ties the victims together. First, there was that announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Yeah? Second, was Saki Konishi, senpai. Third, was Yukiko Amagi. What do they all have in common? They all live in Inaba. Bingo. Plus, they're all women. Yeah. How dare he target females? Now that's unforgivable. The culprit's gotta be some kind of pervert. Maybe. But if he was some sort of pervert, wouldn't he, like, throw them into the TV and have their have his way with them and then leave to leave them to die? But so far, there's no, like, like, as far as we know from the, from Saki-senpai, there was no, like, like, uh, evidence to suggest, like, that, so. Also, what about this? The second and third victims had some sort of connection to the first one. Very true. Hey, that's right. Yukiko and Saki-senpai both had connections to that announcer. That's true. Then, does that mean females connected in some way to Miss Yamano's case are being targeted? It could be I possible. Think that's a safe assumption for now. That is a good assumption for right now. There's another angle we can take, too. If another person disappears... You think they'd be on that Midnight Channel? Very true! That happened right before Yukiko was kidnapped, too! Whoever appears yeah. on the Midnight it's Channel who is the but one that's important. gonna be targeted next. It's happened before the victims disappeared. Kind of like a ransom note. Kind of. We still don't know why that happens, but we'll have to rely on it for now. The next time it rains. Yep. By the way, aren't those done by now? Whoa, that's right. Chow time! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hey, could I try just a little bit of that? Just one tiny bite. Hands off the soba, pal. Go get your own if you want some. <laughs> okay. Just one bite. Got it? Do you want to try some? Uh... I'll try a bite! It's so good! <laughs> the aroma, the flavor... But how can I eat them combined. all? This is perfect! understand what this means we'll pay you back oh, wait 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 stop i'm sorry we'll pay oh, you back mistake. it'll be on me we'll pay you back hear me? the very best steak my tofu i'll pay you back Come on, yukiko there's steak in it for us now <laughs> we can eat instant noodles anytime we want right well, as long as it isn't too fatty. <laughs> okay, we've reached the verdict. You are hereby sentenced to buying a steak. <laughs> what wouldn't be too fatty? Filet? Ooh, filet sounds nice and expensive. Filet, 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 filet mignon. <laughs> hey, you've got a pony up too. You're just as much to blame. Uh, very true. That's what I get. <laughs> Man, talk about great timing. We just started serving grilled steak today. We're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. That's just a yakisoba griddle. Oh well, steak is steak. It's far from a filet steak. Yukiko, are you okay with this? It's not too heavy for you? I'll eat it. I'm still mad. So back on topic. I wonder what kind of person the culprit is. Who knows? If you focus just on the announcer's case, it seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was her lover's wife. Huh. But Mizuzu Hiragi had a solid alibi, didn't she? And it seemed like she was already separated from her husband. Very true. Really? You know an awful lot about this. Okay, what about the second case? Saki-senpai. She found the announcer's body. Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target Senpai? To get rid of evidence? Yeah, to get rid of evidence! Yeah, I think so too. Maybe she found a clue or something about the culprit. Yeah. Maybe... But the killer just threw the announcer into a TV, right? I don't think he would have left evidence the police, much less a high school student, would catch. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Man, I thought the countryside would be a snooze. But it's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. Oh, they updated the menu. Huh? Isn't he that detective? Yeah, he is! <laughs> hey, you were at Dojima-san's. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, wait. Hey, this is great timing after all. Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Could you pass that on to Nanako-chan? You bet! Yo, I'm Adachi, Dojima-san's gopher. Uh, I mean, <laughs> That's basically what you are! Are you this busy every day? Huh? Oh, well, the public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases, but we can't leave it at that. Sorry to butt in. But could it be that the killer targeted Saki-senpai in order to silence her? You really think that he's gonna answer that? Um, you sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes. <laughs> of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. If the killer was trying to silence her, there might have been something at the scene only she would have understood. 
which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konishi. Why are you telling us this? That points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh, I might have stumbled across something here. Why are you telling us this? Crap, me and my big mouth. Uh, don't tell anyone I said any of that, or Dojima-san will flay me alive. <clears throat> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. <laughs> you are you are such a dumbass. You were right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. And ah, that's my steak's getting cold. Could you shut up about the steak for five seconds? <laughs> hey, steak is steak. And I'm trying to fix my my mic. Ah, there we go. Sorry if you're hearing it. really is inside the TV. It's Teddy. That it wasn't a dream. <laughs> Are you feeling better, Yuki-chan? I did what you said. I've been a good bear. Oh, I see. Good boy. <laughs> pat, pat! <laughs> well, this bear's part of the reason we want to find the culprit. I'm one of the group now, too. Let's work together, okay? Yep, I was thinking the same thing. That's why I got these ready for you, Yuki-chan. I really do not like Teddy. Oh, so these are what everyone's wearing. Thank you, Teddy. You're right. It's just as if the fog doesn't exist. Hey, tell me something. How come you have so many pairs of glasses? Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them. I've lived here for a long time, so I came up with some ways to be comfortable here. I see. But don't you need a pair? Ooh, good point. Another great question. Uh. Listen to this. My eyes themselves are lenses. You didn't know? Of course not. <laughs> Why are you being so mean? You act like you're not interested. Well, I'm, I'm not! A really dexterous bear. See how smoothly my fingers move? What am I even looking at? Ow! What? Mm -hmm. You dropped something. Oh, that's a pair I kind of screwed up on. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> how do I look? Oh my god! Yuki-chan? I want to wear this one. It's even got a nose guard. Oh, no you don't! <laughs> How very unfortunate. That pair doesn't have the right lenses in. Guess Aww. I should have made an actual pair. Aww. Oh, too bad. Here, Chie, your turn. <laughs> Man. All right, <laughs> fine. Good to know that Yukiko is a, someone that has an actual sense of humor. <laughs> How'd it come to this? Yukiko-san? Hello? <laughs> there goes one of Yukiko's laughing feds. I never thought she'd do it when someone besides me was around. <laughs> Big glasses are useless for investigating. I mean, what the hell's this nose for anyway? Nice work, huh? That's what happens when you guys leave me here alone and I get bored. <laughs> well, I'm glad that she's in high spirits again, I guess. <laughs> she ate the look on your face. <laughs> it was so funny. I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute! That's adorable! That's adorable that she has a 
fourth and the fifth. Huh? I think I might be able to get the fourth and the fifth off. <laughs> really? For Golden Week! Really? What, you don't believe me? It's Why? always cancelled. Oh, not every year. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Really? <laughs> Can we go on a trip? Uh, well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip! Hmm. All right, all right. Then we need to think of some place to go. How about you? You want to come along with us? Wait, I, I can come? Sure! Yeah, well, let's all go together. <laughs> Looks like Nanako wants us all to go. Let's bring boxed lunches. Hmm? Yeah, good idea. We're always eating side dishes for dinner, but uh, I can't cook. And Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. Hmm. Well, it'll work out. That's what we got this guy for, huh, Nanako? <coughs> Yay! Box lunches! Uh, hmm. All right. If anything to keep Nanako happy. And with that, I'm gonna end it here. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and see you guys next time. Hopefully more will happen.